Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is part four. Um, what's what's left? We've got to do this, obviously. <coughs> um, banjo, teki o tausu action mo benkyo something. Okay, so teki is enemy. Taosu is to fell or to defeat. Uh, Akushon mo, mo is the inclusive particle, so it's just, you know, <clears throat> um, uh, 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 well, this is modifying the action. So it's enemy defeat actions also, and then benkyo, uh, which means to study. So I guess it's going to say suru or shitaho ga i or something like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Shi na kereba narimasen, which means must, basically. Um, and the way it means must is this is negative. Shi nai is negative to not study. <laughs> and then shi na kereba is kind of a conditional, so it's sort of like if you do not study. And then narimasen sort of is is a it's a verb. Is it a verb? It's kind of always negative naranai or narimasen it's not the same as naru i don't i don't think <clears throat> it might be actually but anyway um it sort of means if you do not study um like it won't work things won't go well it's unacceptable kind of vibe um, and that's how you say must in Japanese. Shinakereba uh, naranai. If you do not do it, it is unacceptable. So that's how it means must, yeah. Oi! That was close. Mazu wa tsume tsume panchi desu. As I think we've seen, mazu is first, and then wa is the topic. So this is like regarding what's up first, regarding what's first. Tsume tsume panchi. Um, tsume is your nails or claws, basically. So tsume tsume, I guess, is just doubled up for fun. And then punchy is a punch, surprisingly. Um, I'm just going to check tsume tsume, because I... Who knows? It could be something else. It is not. It's just doubled up for fun. Um, yeah, good. <laughs> Uh, and then hi, which is kind of, people translate this as meaning yes, but it's kind of more of an acknowledgement sound. So we're sort of saying hi, like I acknowledge that, I acknowledge what you've said. And then dōsuru no desu ka? Uh, dōsuru simply uh, how do, how should I do, how should I act, what should I do, and then no desu ka, just kind of a... Uh, in, in, inquisitive the no adds like inquisition to it inquisitiveness uh, and then disguise you know a polite question <clears throat> okay kantan <laughs> des uh, kantan just means simple tateiru ka yukuri aruiteiru toki ni um Tatsu is to stand, and adding iru to the te form of the verb stand means like it just makes it like present continuous. So it's like um, uh, standing, and then ka basically means or in this case. Standing or uh, yukuri aruiteiru. Uh, this is the present continuous form of aruku. Um, yeah, aruku, the te form is aruite, and then iru means to be, and that's just the present continuous form, so walking. And yukuri means like, like, uh, it has a lot of meanings, I suppose. It means like gently, at ease, in this case, slowly. Um, yeah, lots of meanings to yukuri, but it means sort of, you know, taking it easy uh calmly slowly relaxedly um so yeah slowly walking and then toki is time so at times oh i suppose ni means at in this case at times when you are walking slowly or standing 
or when you are walking slowly or standing. Bibotan wo osu dake des. So, uh, yeah, uh, 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 B button press only, or B button press merely. Merely press the B button to do the tsume tsume punchy. <laughs> oh, okay. Sore wa kantan. So yeah, just uh, what you have said, that information you've just given me, that's what sore is. That is uh, simple. Nanika lenshu dai wa nai kana. Um, nanika in this case, um, it's sort of like some kind of, some sort of. Uh, lenshu dai, I guess is a, well lenshu is to practice. And die, I think that might mean like a, die can mean platform, so I wonder if it's just like a, is there like a, a, a practice platform or a pla practice area or something? I think so, yeah. And then nai is the negative of aru, so I suppose aru is also kind of an exception verb. Um... But yeah, nai is the negative of aru, uh, which means to exist. So this is to not exist. So lenshu dai wa nai kana. Um, and then kana, you kind of just put it at the end of things when you're wondering out loud. Um, he's not, is he, well, I suppose in this case he kind of is asking bottles. Um but Kana isn't necessarily asking. Um, it's, yeah, it's just wondering out loud, basically. Kana. Um, men can only say Kana. Women can say Kashida. I suppose, I suppose arguably men can say Kashida, but you're going to sound really feminine. Um, so it will probably be weird and laughter. Um, yeah, it will sound weird. <clears throat> So some kind of practice area does not exist, I wonder. Um, I, I, I think. Oi. Sono yakamashi tori dewa. Um, so sono means that, and you have to have a you have to have a noun with it. In this case, tori, which means bird, which is kazooie. Um, I wonder if Renshu Dai was actually just like a. Um, practice dummy or something. I'm I'm not not entirely sure, but uh, yakamashi. Yakamashi means noisy, boisterous uh, things, things like that. So that sort of irritating bird, and then dewa. I suppose it's like I suppose it's like via. The irritating bird and then why is the topic and this this happens quite a lot in Japanese you can just kind of bring up a topic and it sort of becomes a question um, I suppose omitted is like dull like how do you think what do you think of using that <clears throat> irritating bird but yeah that happens a lot you can just say wa and it can become a question <clears throat> yeah <laughs> Nan des te? Um, so, Nani, as I'm sure you know, is what? Uh, and des, I don't know why she's gone polite here, really. But she has. Nan des te? So it's kind of like what? And then te, as we've said before, is like a quoting. It's like a substitution for toe, which is the quoting particle. So it's... And... and, and uh, there's sort of the verb is omitted so it'd be like what quote did you say but she's just kind of going what quote and and it's hard, it's hard to it's hard to translate that isn't it none just it but people will often just use like a quoting particle or or this te when they when you know they're saying what they thought or what was said or what they said or whatever um so that's what's happening here. She's just saying like, Nandestet, like, what did you? 
and then the verb say isn't stated, it's omitted, but it's it's obvious that she means that. <clears throat> and then Jordan Desio. Jordan is a joke. Simple as that, basically. Jordan Desio, he's insisting with yo that it's a joke, he's saying it's a joke. Um and then Nanika Tekitona Mono wo. Uh let's scroll forward. Sagashte <clears throat> Agemasho. Okay, we're getting on to some pretty uh difficult to explain grammar now, but yeah. Um Nanika Tekitona Mono. So Nanika again in this case also is like um some kind of, I suppose, or some sort of. Um Tekito means it gets translated kind of as like random. But that's I, I think that's a bad translation in a lot of cases. Tekito kind of means um whatever will suffice. Whatever will do. Just, you know, something just something that will do the job. Um I remember <clears throat> when I was at a school out in Japan teaching, I was I was you know studying kanji and doing all stroke order and that, and I was talking to one of the teachers about it, and I was like, "Do you do like you know? Do you do all like the proper stroke order and everything?" And she just said, "No, no, 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 tekito," um, which means she just you know does whatever gets the kanji drawn. She doesn't follow the proper stroke order. She just she just writes the kanji down in however she wants and you know whatever will do the job she she doesn't really care so it can kind of mean random i suppose in that sense in that example i just gave it's like no i randomly draw it so it does kind of apply sometimes but it's 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 a bad it's not good to think it means random i i i, I think um and then mono is uh, an an object or maybe a person. The kanji, there's no kanji, so it's not clear. But I guess it's, um, yeah, I guess it's object. So some kind of sufficial, uh, sufficing object. And then sagasu is to search or to look for, to find, to try to find. Um, and he's gone with the te form here, sagashite agemasho. Um and if you put like ageru after a te form verb, um, it means that you will kind of do it for someone. Like sagashite ageru. Ageru means like. What does ageru mean? Um, it means like to raise. Oh no, I suppose I suppose ageru. <clears throat> Yeah, it kind of means to lift something up in 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 a way or to elevate something. And there's this thing in Japanese of when you do something for other people, you sort of you're doing it from your sort of subordinate position and you're doing it sort of upwardly uh for someone else who is who is above you and 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 by default the japanese uh everybody else is above you in society like when you do things for others even even like the boss of a company i i think they would it, it's so ingrained now that they would still say sagashite ageru to even like their their subordinates their employees um, even though they might <laughs> they might use casual language with them, but um, it's so ingrained now that it's just grammatically nonsense not to do this. I think, um, but yeah. And then when someone does something for you, it's uh, kudasaru or kuderu. K kuderu is is better. It's like they do it downwardly for you from that elevated position they do it for you and you are in a lower position so it's like kuderu um but yeah <clears throat> it's weird so he's saying sagashite agemasho so i will do something uh, or let's or i endeavor i have decided i am determined to find something for you it's kind of the vibe of the masho at the end but yeah oh no a carrot <clears throat> 
Is that it? No. Okay. Ah, that's just a noise. Ninjin no toppada. Uh, ninjin is is a carrot, and toppa I guess is the 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 name of this carrot enemy or something. Um. Maybe. And then sore banjo. And sore means, you know, that. So I guess he's saying, like, you know, do it in, get it, get get that guy. And he just wants me to swipe at it. Oh, it's stationary. Okay. Uh, omigoto dewa mo ikkai. Uh, omigoto means basically, it, well, it basically means splendid, fabulous, well done. Um, but literally, I think it kind of means like um, a, a, a thing to look at. <clears throat> a thing to look at, which means less literally, it means something worth seeing. But as I said, it also has the meanings of like splendid, fantastic, well done kind of thing. Oh, and a dewa. A dewa kind of just means like with that, I suppose, with that being done. Mo ikai and mo ikai is is more one time basically. Uh, he could have said mo ichido like we saw in a, in another part, but uh, he went with mo ikai, which is the same meaning. <coughs> and then atai ni mo nanika oshiete yo. Uh, atai <laughs> is uh, Kazooie's chosen first person pronoun, so I. Uh, to I, and then the inclusive particle. So to I also, or to me too. Uh, nanika oshiete yo. Something teach. You know, teach me something too. Uh, and yo makes it, you know, kind of uh, more forceful. <clears throat> uh, tsugi wa... Rolling attack ni chosen shite kudasai. Sorry about that noise. Um, so tsugi means next, uh, and rolling attack is rolling attack. So it's just English basically. Ni chosen shite kudasai. So chosen is to sort of. Um, it sort of means to like challenge oneself with something. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, and then it has to have suru added to it to make it into a verb. <clears throat> but yeah, you, you, you use ni with chosen, basically. When you want to do some, challenge yourself with something, you use ni. So it's ni chosen shtekudasai, and shtekudasai is just a polite way of requesting someone do something or asking someone to do something. Atai wa imasugu sora wo tobitai no yo. Okay, excellent. So I imasugu sugu is kind of immediately. So I guess imasugu just kind of like doubles it up as a as like right now. Ima means now. I should I should point that out. Ima means now and sugu means like immediately. So I guess it's just doubled up to mean right now, basically. And then sora wo tobitai. Um, <clears throat> so this is the desire form of tobu, which means to fly. So um, uh, not so literally with how the words work. It's I want to fly, basically. And Sora is just the sky, so it's like I want to fly in the sky or through the sky. Wo is kind of a funny particle to use to English speakers, but that, that obviously that's that makes total sense in Japanese. <clears throat> and then no is just sort of insisting and yo just adds force. <laughs> He's just ignored him. Um, uh, her, sorry. Hashiri uh, nagara B botan de doringu attack des. Hashiru is to run. Uh, and you can use the stem of the verb with nagara, and it means whilst doing this verb, so whilst running. B botan de via the B button, roringu attack des. It is the rolling attack. It's quite a 
kind of literal uh, translation. Tamanegi no boru ga. Tamanegi no boru ga ireba yoi lenshu dai ni. Okay. Seems lenshu dai probably was like a practice dummy. Maybe. Um, tamanegi. This is like ball onion. Tama is a ball and negi is a is an onion. Um, but they specify that in Japanese because they have um, they have other types of onions like the 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 long kind of green ones. Um, what are they called? Are they are they just naga negi? I think they might be naga negi. I, I can't remember. But yeah, tama negi, not boru. I think that's just like the name of the onion enemy. So it's just like ball. So tama negi ball or bowl. I don't know. Excuse me. But ga ideba. Um, so if there exists, this is the kind of conditional form of iru, ideba. So if there exists uh, an onion ball, <laughs> the, the enemy ball onion thing, yoi lenshu dai ni. Loi, sorry, yoi is a way of saying i, which means good. Or, you know, splendid, so not splendid, but, well, it can mean that fine, good, perfectly fine kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yoi lenshu dai ni. So a good lenshu dai, whatever that is. Naru no desunga. Um, so, yeah, I guess lenshu dai is like a, yeah, like a, a practice dummy. And then ni naru means like, it kind of means to become Naru is to become, but it Naru also often gets used as like kind of a future tense of like to be. So it will be a good practice dummy. And then no desunga. The ga at the end here is kind of a kind of like a but. Like were there one here it would be great, but and then he's just kind of trailed off. Like sort of. Um, it's perfectly fine to end with ga and kedo and things like that in Japanese. Um, it just sort of, that alone sort of expresses like uncertainty or in this case kind of maybe like a little bit of regret that there isn't one around and, and things like that. So uh, yeah. And pal, there's one. <laughs> Uh, don, hmm? don pisha. I guess that, that's a sound effect of some kind. Don pisha. <laughs> and then more hitotsu. So one more. <laughs> Ooh, mega maware. Uh, so that's a noise. Ooh, mega maware. Uh, well, literally, that's like me is your eyes. And mawaru is like to to spin, I think, right? So my eyes will spin, um, which is obviously very literal. Uh, oh, to be dizzy or to feel faint. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess it's like, you know how people, you know, when people faint, like maybe their eyes sort of go, you know, maybe curl into like the top of their head or something. And then they, you know, then they faint. Um I guess it's like that, Mega Mawaru, like she's gonna she's gonna faint or she's gonna you know, pass out from boredom or something like that. She's she's obviously complaining about the fact that she hasn't been taught anything. Oh yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> okay. Sa chicken chan ni mo. Hitotsu o boete moraimas. Okay, we've got some complicated grammar here, but yeah. Sa is like now or now then. So, sort of thing. Chicken chan ni mo. Um, this no, th sorry, this ni here is a bit like by chicken chan also. Is it? Or maybe from, from chicken chan also. Hitotsu just meaning like one thing. Oboeru is to memorize or to learn something. Um, and what he's done is he's used the te form of that, oboete. And then he said morao, which is the verb for to receive something. 
so it's kind of like um yeah i i he's sort of saying i will receive uh the learning of one thing by chicken chan also uh this is very common in uh, japanese this oboete morale uh it can also be oboete itadakimas um but yeah we'll, we might see things later on that are like that but there's lots of this kind of receiving someone else doing something and then you can get causative with it as well, which is when you will receive someone's allowing you to do something. And things start to get really crazy about which direction and who's doing what for non-native speakers. But yeah, we'll see if that comes up. <laughs> okay. So she's saying, Sugoi no janai to iayo. I love Kazooie's voice. It's hilarious. Um, so Sugoi, as I'm sure you know, just means like, you know, impressive, incredible, great, fantastic, you know, those sorts of words. And then the no here is kind of just standing in for the, um, for the, for the noun that it is. So it's sort of replacing the word action or move. And it, you can kind of translate it as, as meaning one. Like, you know, it, uh, a great one, janaito, if it is not, no, sorry, yeah, not a great one, and, and then iya, as we've said, is, um, you know, to be disagreeable, to be uh, undesirable, to, you know, yeah, that, that those sort of words. And then yo again, just adding force. But yeah, you can sort of translate no as just meaning one. Um, yeah. So not a great one, and I, 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 I don't want it. I don't want it, basically. If it's not an impressive move, I don't care. <clears throat> okay. Kitsutsuki, uh, huh? Kitsutsuki attack ni torai shite mi o. Kitsutsuki. Kitsutsuki. Hmm. Let's have a look at this. Kitsutsuku would be the verb then. Oh, a woodpecker. Oh, never mind. Kitsutsuki is a woodpecker. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now I know. I wonder how long I'll remember that for. But yeah, Kitsutsuki attack. So the woodpecker attack. Ni torai shite mi o. Um, torai is just the is just English. That's try to give it a go. And then shte miru, um, the te form of any verb, and then miru means to sort of try doing something in a kind of a experience way, not, not an endeavour kind of way. It's not like to try hard to do something. It's to try to do something in sort of, you know, to try it out as an experience and to see, like, what you think of it. Um... And then this is obviously shte mio, which is volitional. So it's kind of like, it can either be translated as like, let's try it. Or sort of, yeah, no, I think that's the best translation in this case, because we're talking about everybody here. So yeah, I think it's let's try it. Um, and then jampu chu ni, uh, which is, you know, uh, in the middle, in the middle of a jump. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. B button this. So it's the B button in the middle of a jump. Sa te. I think that's the same as sa almost. Just like now then. Uh, and then kari furawa no kari kari woburu. Okay. Kari furawa is cauliflower. And kari wo woburu is the name. Kali wobble uh, or something. And then what? Is the topic so bringing up the topic of this enemy? Doko ni iru kana. So at where does it exist? I wonder, or less literally, you know, where is it? Where where are where are collie wobbles when you need them? I wonder, kind of kind of like. Now we're just gonna mess him up. Hmm, naka naka. So. 
Um is just a noise. I guess he's just thinking, like going, hmm. And then Naka Naka is a shortening of a phrase, a bit like Naka Naka Jolzu. Naka Naka means like considerably, basically. Um, so considerably good, he's, he's sort of saying, but he hasn't said the good bit. He's just saying, oh, considerably sort of, but that's perfectly fine in Japanese. You know, it sounds weird in English, but yeah. Sa <laughs> otsugi wa megane kun. So sa, now then, otsugi. Otsugi is just next. Tsugi is next. But she's put an honorific on it for some reason. And then while just bringing up the topic, as we've said, that can be a question. So what's next? Um, and then megane kun, glasses boy. Okay, maybe not maybe not what's next, but where's the next one maybe? Uh Kihon Tekina Ataku no Wazawa Korede Zembu des. So um Kihon Teki, as we said, is like fundamental and then you need na to attach it to attack. But yeah, fundamental attacks. Not waza. Waza is like a technique. Yeah, basically. It's it's a technique. So the fundamental attack techniques with this all des. So that's that's all of them. Now that now that he's done that. Dewa uh, Mata Sonohende. Uh so yeah, with this, now that that's done. Excuse me. Mata Sonohende. Uh again Sonohen. Sonohen, it just means like hen is like a a, a vague area. So I guess son or hen just kind of means like, you know, at at the next place, wherever that happens to be. And then de, again, just um, a sort of allowing a verb to be attached, but one isn't explicitly stated. So I guess it's just, you know, um, let's meet uh, at the next area or something, or let's learn at the next area or something like that. But yeah. Cheers, bro. Um, I, 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 I've been trying to think all day of what's next. When I uploaded the um, the last part, I thought, oh god. Okay. Torori oishi. Torori. Torori. I don't know what that means. Oishi. Oishi means like delicious, tasty. Uh, hachimitsu energi da yo. Hachimitsu is honey. Um, hachi is like bee. Mitsu, I guess, is the, you know, just like the, the well, the honey, isn't it? Hachimitsu. Or whatever it is. Bee sap or something. I don't know. And then enerugi is energy. For some reason, they it's English, but they say it enerugi instead of energy. Um, and then dayo. Is he going to carry on? No. That's it. Maybe I should do a talk to this guy. He teaches me how to climb, does he? Ano gomen kudasai. Ano is a way of uh, saying um, basically, or f thinking of what to say. Ano, or or maybe in this case, kind of, it can be a way of, you know, just communicating that you're about to speak to someone kind of in a kind of a um excuse me kind of way uh yeah that's what Ano's doing and then go men kudasai is kind of like you know excuse me basically but i think used yeah when you want someone's attention uh yeah excuse me okay ya banjo so ya We've seen it already with Tutti, just means like, hey, banjo. Mazu wa kamera no sousa kara. Oh, I don't want to deal with this. Uh, um, so, yeah, first camera, and then sousa is like the operation of something. It's sort of how to control it, the operation. So, kamera no sousa kara. So, from the operation of the camera. Uh, let's carry on. Uh, camera, sorry, camera no sousa ni wa kiroi yotsu no shi botan wo tsukaun desu. Um, 
Okay, so Niwa, I guess that's like in, within the operation of the camera, um, is, hmm? Kidoi is yellow, Yotsu is four, the four C buttons. You, these are, this is just linking the four to the C buttons, so the no doesn't really do anything special. It's just the four C buttons. And then Skow is use, and then he's decided to say undes for some reason. Skow undes, just sort of um, very explanatory vibe to that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to stay on this too much. Iroiro uh, tamashite kudasai. So Iroiro just means various. Um, so it means just, you know, try various ways of using it, I suppose. And then tamesu is to test something. Tamashite kudasai is just like, please try it out. Please test it. <laughs> hmm. Taishita adobaisu janai wa ne. So that's a noise. Taishita kind of means like significant or big deal um and so she's saying taishita adobaisu janai janai is obviously negative so it's like you know uh significant advice it is not one air it's like she's she's saying it's you know that's that's rubbish that's a rubbish tutorial and then yeah <laughs> それじゃあチキンちゃん、あるボタンを押してみましょう。Um, so それじゃあ just saying like, well then, with that, with that then, if you're saying that, chicken chan, call it a chicken chan, あるボタンを押してみましょう。Um, so sort of, yeah, let's try pressing the R button and 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 see, you know, like what happens. Camera wa kimi tachi no ushiro ni mawari konde kuremas. So the camera, uh, that's the topic of this. That's the topic now. Uh, kimi tachi no ushiro ni. Uh, ushiro is like back or behind. So two behind you guys. Mawari konde. That's just kind of to to rotate around. I don't know how really komu affects that. Oh, I guess it's maybe because it like rotates around to behind us. If it was just mawaru, it would just be like the camera maybe just like spins in place, which doesn't, you know, doesn't really help. But maybe mawari komu is to like, you know, to rotate around until it's into a certain position, maybe. And then kureru, this is what I was talking about. So kureru is when something is done for you by someone else who is above you and therefore it's done downwardly to you. Um, but he's saying it to us about what the camera's going to do for us so it's kind of odd it's, it's not it's not it's just he's decided that the camera oh maybe it's like the camera is doing it for us as a group it's like it's a it's it's a good thing for all of us so he's kind of included himself as part of our party and the camera does it favorable it does a favorable thing for all of us as a group maybe so <laughs> de zenbu sensei um so with that all basically or is that all is that everything sensei is you know sensei is teacher <laughs> oh i wish i hadn't done this <laughs> yeah yeah so ia ia is just just means like no basically it's a way of saying no and he's saying it twice ia ia it's like no no aru botan wo oshitsu oshitsu tsukereba oh my god oh oshi tsukereba i see so osu is to press um and it's gone oshi because it has to for the next verb and tsukeru is to continue to continue doing something or to continue something on and this kereba thing at the end makes it conditional so if you continually hold the r button camera wa the camera zutto kimi tachi wo ushiro kara oitsuzukemasu zutto is like for a long time in this case 
Kimitachi wo Ushiro kara o tsuzukemas. Oi, sorry, oi tsuzukemas. So o is to chase or to follow. So oi tsuzukemas, oi tsuzukeru is to continue following. Uh, and we've got this wo particle here because this verb is being done to us. And it's done from behind. Ushiro kara, from behind for a long time. So it will continue to follow you for a long time from behind. Oshiri bakkari utsuru kedo ne. Okay. So oshiri is one's bum or one's behind. Um, so oshiri bakkari. Bakkari is like nothing but. Um, and then utsuru is to be kind of to be like kind of filmed not filmed but to be like produced on a screen basically so only only our bum will be kind of you know will be on the screen it will be produced on the screen or utsuru I mean, can mean to like reflect and stuff um or to be rendered, perhaps, is is, 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 is is a good word for that. And then kedo is just like however, like kind of in a kind of a that that's the downside kind of way. And then net just rhetorically seeking agreement again. Uh, let's carry on here. Uh, saigo ni hitotsu chui desu. So saigo means like the most last, the most back, the most final. So it's so it essentially means the last, the most back. Um, uh, ni is just like, uh, it's just kind of needed. Saigo ni. Hitotsu chui desu. One, chui is just kind of a word of caution or warning or something to uh, be aware of, um, to... Yeah, pay attention to, I guess. Uh, kamera no sousa ga dekinai. Area mo arimas. Um, so areas. Uh, sorry, no, I suppose we want to start here. Arimas. Arimas is aru, but polite. So it's like there exist also areas uh, where the camera's operations cannot or where you cannot operate the camera. So yeah, there also exist places where you cannot um, control the camera. I, 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 oh no, that's what it means, isn't it? Yeah, you can't control the camera. You can't operate the camera. Oh, that was it, good. Good, good, good. I'm seriously confused about what, <laughs> what I've missed. Uh, I know I have to learn to climb. I've done that beat thing over there. <clears throat> uh, banjo. Takai tokoro wa nigate janai desu yo ne. Um, yeah, we've kind of seen this already. Takai is high. Tokoro is like place or points. Um, yeah, takai tokoro, so, so high points. Uh, nigate is to like be, be weak to in a kind of a, a dislike kind of way. It just means that you, yeah, you don't like it. It can be used for, for your dislikes. And I suppose in this case, kind of maybe your fears as well, maybe. But yeah. And then he's saying, Janai desu yo ne. So he's asking us kind of like, you're not, you're not weak to high places, are you? Kind of vibe. Um. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Atai wa daijoubu yo. Um, so she's bringing up the topic of herself. I am daijoubu, you probably know, very common word, just means, you know, fine, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm perfectly, you know, uh, capable in this case, I suppose. And then hayaku 
Tobi Katao Oshiete. <laughs> so Hayaku again, quick Lee. The coup makes it quick Lee. Uh, tobi Kata. So Tobu again is the verb to fly. And we've used the stem, Tobi, with the word Kata. Um, which basically means, yeah, how to fly, the way of flying, how to fly. Uh, Oshiete, teach. So quickly teach me how to fly. Because um, I'm not afraid of. Uh, um, excuse me, I'm not afraid of, you know, heights. And then he's saying, Mada, Mada, Desio, which means, you know, not yet, still a long way to go. No, no, you know, not yet, basically. Mada, Mada, Desio. Um, banjo. Ki no bori wo oshiemas. Uh, ki is tree. Noboru is to climb something. So ki no bori is tree climbing. Um, and then oshie du. Or she at must the polite form. Uh, I'll teach you know. I'll I'll teach climbing trees, and then you got jump ushte. Yeah, jump ushte. So jump basically. Ki ni shigami tsuitara. Really? Shigami tsuitara. I don't. I don't know that. Shigami tsuku. What is that? <clears throat> Like, it's kind of obvious from context. It's going to be, you know, like, grab or something. Shigami... Oh, shigamitsuku. To cling. Okay, that makes sense. Shigamitsuku. Um, yeah, shigamitsuitara. We might have seen this already. This kind of tara, it can be conditional, or it can also mean, like, when. So it's like, if you grab the tree, or maybe, like, if you grab onto the tree or when you grab onto the tree uh 3d stick not joge de nobori ori gatekimas uh so yeah joge is a combination of the kanjis for up and down and it's red joge so essentially it just means like both vertical directions up and down um, and it's via the up and down of the 3d stick uh, no body is uh, climbing and ori is uh, descending ga dekimas dekimas is again just the potential form of suru meaning can do <laughs> oh i think that was it so where's the last Where's the last honeycomb? Extra honeycomb, I don't know. Anyway, Kihon no Akushon wo kore de zenbu oboemashita ne. So yeah, fundamental actions. With this, uh, all oboemashita, like learned, all learned. And then ne, just saying like haven't you, kind of vibe. <laughs> Uh, kuru kuru yama no teppen de uh, Kuru kuru is like, yeah, like spinning. So it's kind of like the spiraling, the spiraling mountain, I suppose. Yama is mountain, so kuru kuru yama, the spiraling mountain. No teppen. Teppen is just the top, the the summit, the peak. Uh, de just allowing a verb to be done at that location. And then I masho just kind of lets meet at the uh, the peak of the kuru kuru yama. And so called de. Uh, yep. I just gotta remember that it said so called de. So so called de. Kimi tachi ni tsugi ni yaru beki koto wo oshiyamas. Okay. So kimi tachi ni to you guys. Um, next Lee, I suppose you could think of this. This knee, you know, might kind of sort of make it a bit, yeah, like next Lee, I think. Next Lee. Um, which is obviously weird in English, but yeah, that's sort of how this works in Japanese, I think. Yaru is another way to say do. I personally feel like yaru has a bit more of a sort of 
very kind of physical nuance to it but it you know i might be wrong um but i feel like yaru is a bit more physically involved with with something but uh sometimes they're interchangeable suru or yaru they're yeah pretty interchangeable and then becky means sort of something that should be done it means should basically so yaru becky simply means should do and it's kind of funny that it's in reverse order in japanese but yeah yaru beki koto koto is just things so things should do nextly oshiyamas i will teach um but yeah oshiyaru often means like tell to communicate to let someone know um but yeah it also has the meaning of teach uh so sometimes sometimes it's tell sometimes it's teach which which makes sense i guess let's get the honeycomb first where is it oh we say in more uh ki no hoka ni mo noboreru mono wa takusan mitsukaru desho okay uh, so ki is the tree, no is just required because we're linking it to hoka, which means other, like other, other two trees, other of trees, ni mo, to also other of trees, or, you know, less literally, other than trees, um, nobo lelu mono, um, this is the potential form of noboru, so this simply means can climb, mono objects can climb objects or objects you can climb topic marker takusan just means lots uh mitsukaru desho they will be found um we wouldn't word it that way in english we would say you will find many things you can climb other than trees but in japanese this is grammatically perfectly fine to say that many other things that you can climb will be found uh, and then desho is just kind of saying like won't you um uh, I, I suppose yeah it, it kind of works as a translation but i feel there's a bit more of a nuance to desho that uh that may come up um yeah <clears throat> Was that it? Oh, okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Just making a, 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 a Japanese YouTube series and not wanting to read the Japanese. Um, all right, I'm going to look for this honeycomb. And I'll skip... I'll, I'll, I'll edit to when I've found it, because we're losing time here, so, yeah. All right. All right, I found it nice. What? Why do I have full health? <laughs> I've already got like eight health. What's going on? This ROM is broken. All right, never mind. All right, forget it. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to find everything. All right, that's that. Uh, so, you know, if you like this video, please like it. Um, you can sub if you want. Um, Patreon exists and all that stuff but yeah thanks for watching hope it's been worth it and i'll see you next time <laughs>